Good morning, Father Dane is here with a word of encouragement. Today we want to talk about caring for the minority. Now, that is a question we need to focus on and work on it seriously. Because there is this way of saying that has always raised questions in me. Mnyonge and haki. Which can be loosely translated to the poor has no right. Why did this saying have to come across? Who is the poor? What might have happened? When I ask these questions, a clear question comes again into my mind. What can I do to serve the poor around me? When I look at the scriptures, St. Paul writes the visions. He said it rightly, brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers or sojourners, but you are all citizens of the kingdom of heaven. Why did Paul has to give this affirmation? Looking at Paul and his life followed by his confession, he knew what it means to be a minor or belonging to a minority. A challenge that is posed to us today. And that is why we see Christ coming out to attend to the minor or the, those who feel that they are in need. For me, I see anyone who is in a minority or a minor is someone is in need as someone who may be poor. Christ comes to attend to Thomas because when he came the first time, Thomas was not around and he said, frankly, I will not believe until I have seen his hands and I put my hand on his side. When Christ comes, he comes for his sake, and this, he uplifts his faith. We learn from him. A challenge that we need to take up as the people of God. For Pope Francis has said it rightly in the Evangelii Gaudium, that we look around and see the poor, where in fights all the Christians assisted by the pastors to attend the poor because in seeing their miseries and in hearing their cries, it is a scandal because they lack what is basic that results from poor division of the resources. Today, a challenge right to you and me. Are you going to step out and do something for someone who is in need? May we seek the intercession of St. Thomas that we may be there for those who are in need. May God bless you, you and your family.